Do you remember this radio controller project? Back then when I've made this project, I've also shown you this radio controller board and I told you that it has a place for an accelerometer so instead of joysticks we could move the controller around and control any radio device. Today I will use this old radio toy car that I had laying around as an example and I will create an IMU radio controller and be able to move the car around just by rotating the controller. I will show you how to read the IMU data how to use the HC12 radio module and create the connection. Send the data and control two DC motors using an Arduino and an H bridge. But before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. And also thanks to all my Patreons. So guys, let's get started. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. If you want professional made PCBs for a very low price, you should try their services. Their prototyping PCBs prices are so low that now for a lot of the small circuits that I design, I also make a PCB. That will keep my projects cleaner, more professional look and better performance than the homemade versions. So guys, upload the Gerber files to their webpage review the design and starting from only $2, order 10 PCBs for your projects. What's up my friends, welcome back. For this project I will use an old toy car that I had in order to show you this example. If you don't have a toy car already, using the same schematic I will provide for this project and using some DC motors, you could make your own car body. I recommend you to use this kind of turbine motors that I use for my old Tiger 1 tank. Before we start you should know that below you could find a few examples for different kind of cars, for 2 or 3 motors. The code and schematic for the transmitter is always the same. So let's begin. First we will build the transmitter, then the receiver for the toy car and finally we will talk about the code. This is the schematic that I will use for the transmitter. All we need is an Arduino, the IMU module which is the MPU6050 in this case, the HC12 radio transmitter and of course a battery. I also have this on and off switch and some of these antennas for the radio modules. In this project I will use the HC12 radio module because we already seen a lot of videos with the Anorev24 module on this channel and I would like to show you how the HC12 works as well. Also it seems to have a longer range than the Anorev24 module and I've also ordered these antennas for the modules and with that we will see the range difference. This module is very easy to use. It has the TX and RX pins and using the software serial communication we could send and receive data very easy. Ok so I make all the connections on a piece of drill PCB and I also add the on and off switch and the radio transmitter is ready. I've also placed a joystick as well, but we will use that at the end of this project. For now let's focus on the IMU data that could give us two channels for the radio controller. The controller board is ready, so let's start with the receiver. For the receiver I first opened this toy car with just a few screws. I removed the top part, the antenna and the old receiver board. I will keep this part maybe for a future project. As you can see, it's a 40 MHz receiver with some transistors for the motor's control. Now all we have is the body, two DC motors and the on and off switch. One motor is used for going back and forward and the other motor is to turn to the right or to the left. In order to control both directions of the motors, I will use an H bridge. This here is a copy of the L298 H bridge module, but it's a little bit smaller. It could withstand up to 1.5 amps and could control two motors. So this is the schematic for the receiver. We need once again the Arduino, the other HC12 radio module, the H bridge and the motors. I mount everything to the toy car and screw in place the board in place of the other board. As a power supply I first used the 4.5 volts battery pack that the toy car already has. Because the Arduino was resetting itself, later I will use a 9 volts battery instead. If you use a high voltage battery, connect the positive wire to the V-in pin of the Arduino. In my case the battery pack is below 5 volts, so for now I will connect that directly to the VCC pins. 
I've also placed a big capacitor between ground and 5 volt spin, so the DC motor spikes won't affect the Arduino. Ok, so now we have both the transmitter and the receiver for this project. It is time for the code. You could download the codes from below and then open them in the Arduino IDE. This here is the transmitter code. Please read all the comments in both codes in order to understand more. To read the IMU data, I'm using some IceCracy lines with the wire function. I ask for both acceleration and gyro data and then I calculate the real angle. If you uncommon these lines here and open the serial monitor with the Arduino connected to the PC, you will be able to see the angles while moving the controller around. Now I send the X and the Y angle using the radio connection and that's all. The HC12 module works with the software serial RX and TX pins and here we define those pins used for the radio module. The code is very simple and all it does is to send the angle values. The rest is done in the receiver code. This here is the receiver code. We receive the data with the serial function. Then we get the X and Y values into separated variables and finally we control 4 pedal impulses for the motors. That will control both the speed and the direction of rotation of the motors. So I upload the codes and now I can control the toy car using the MPU6050 module. As you can see here, the more I turn the controller, the higher the speed of the car gets. I can go forward or backwards, change the speed and also turn to the right or to the left. As I told you before, I had to use the 9V battery connected to the VIN pin as in this final schematic, since with the small batteries the Arduino was resetting each time. So I've made myself a fun toy car. But now if all you want is a controller and a common PWM receiver, use this second schematic for the receiver and upload the second code named PWM receiver that you could also download from below. All you need is the Arduino and the HC12 radio module. I made the connections on the breadboard and I upload the second code and now I hook the oscilloscope to one of the outputs. Pin D3 and D4 are two PWM outputs corresponding to the X and Y axis of the transmitter and there you have it. We now have a 1000 to 2000 microsecond signal that changes depending on the orientation of the controller. This kind of signal is suitable for ESCs, servos and drones in general, so it should be quite interesting. If you want, you could also use the joystick to this project as in the past tutorial and now we have 4 channels with both the joysticks and the accelerometer control. You have the schematic and the transmitter code for that below as well. It would be nice to control a drone using this. Maybe in a future project. Use the joystick for throttle and the IMU for roll and pitch. Below in the description you also have a code example called change baud rate. Make these connections and upload that code to the Arduino and you could increase the baud rate of the HC12 modules up to 115,200 bouts. So there you have it. Check the links below for all the schematics, the codes and more information on my webpage electronloops.com. Now you know how easy it is to use the HC12 modules with just a few lines of code and using the software serial of the Arduino. I hope that this project was interesting and that you have learned something new. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. And also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. Remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.